now. Yeah, that sounds better. Sorry about that. I haven't got any external cameras plugged in today. Hopefully you can hear me now. No sound, no sound, no sound. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Let me know if the sound is working or not. Oh, comes train. You've got to cough that on it. Any sound now? Loud and clear. Oh, that's good. Uh, sorry about that. I've been talking away and uh, not realising I haven't got a mic on. What's occurring? Um, platform two and three occurring. I've measured it. It's 1800 mil long, nearly two metres. So, uh, yeah. It's being frozen. Anybody else I have not Andy Dobson. Andy Hot Dog Pilots here. That's great. That's great. I've never done an afternoon live. I'm hoping to have a video shown on the uh, Jenny Kirk tonight. Whether she does or not, I don't know. Six foot six, and I think it's slightly it might be slight about six foot. I think just short of six foot. I think I can get, I think, a five coach and a loco in here. Um, this is my magic little gauge for um, getting it all in the right place. I've got a seat point here, which is a bugger, because it's uh, slightly wider than I, what I want. I'm going to have to put the hacksaw through that, but not today. Not today. Oh, I hope everybody's fine. Anthony, Middleport Junction. Hi, Fred. Hello, <laughs> Fred. It would be easier to stop the locomotive, but I, I just like the trains running by. It's uh, quite soothing, so to speak. Yeah, so Mark Hemel down has spurred me on because he's making, a, I think, about a four-platform station at the moment. So, uh, yeah. He's um he's got me to uh do my platform as well. There we go. <laughs> Here's my platforms. Two mil card again. Oh, you're close. <laughs> so what's Jenny Kirk? Can be boring sometimes, but uh, no beating me on building platforms out. <laughs> No, I'm, I can't keep up with you. Uh, the bit at a time, we get there. All right, I need a right edge, a right angle of some kind. 
What do I need? A little right angle. What can I use? Oh, look. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do me. I must invest in a Hoover. So much tough stuff here. Put a link in for what? I did see David. Ivan Kettle? Or oh, Ivan? Ivan Kettle? Hey! Welcome to first class. <laughs> Thank you, uh, <laughs> Ivan. I didn't make it last Wednesday because of the weather. But I was going to come on my bike. It was going to piss it down. But I will try and make it this week. Weather permitting. That's Ivan Kettle. Thank you, Ivan. Ivan's just become a member. Bless him. Ivan is the chairman of the Warmer Model Railway. Club, which is at Shepherd's Well East Kent Railway Station, and they're just building a massive 30 40 foot layout at the moment, which I've got to go and see. It's about a year underway now, I think. All right, now where was I? Start from there. So you need three hands. Well, thanks, Ivan. That's uh, brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, there we go. All right, I need some tools now. I'm quite surprised there's so many people here. 18 people, crikey, that's great. Mm. Right, where's Stanley gone? Mm. No Stanley. All right, no Stanley. I'm going to go and find a Stanley blade. Back in a minute. David Emery. Hello, David Emery. Thank you for coming along. Um, it's the first time I've ever done a live in an afternoon, so... Uh, yeah, something new, really, yeah. All right, I've lost my... Um, I've lost my standing. Oh, no, I haven't. Here it is. Can I cut this by hand? Yeah. Now we need the glue pot when it's blocked. Right. Nice. Or something. Um, now it's with David, all right, Anthony Middleport, Anthony Middleport Junction. How are you, sir? 16 people in, that's quite cool. Well, how am I going to unblock my glue? Oh.
is correct. Just subbed. Clash. Right, we've got glue. <clears throat> Bang. Well, that's good. They all are the same size. There we go, then. The first, first piece going in. Yeah. It's thick enough, that two mil car, just to stand up on its own. So you can't really see what I'm doing, can you? Just subs to Clive, okay. Me too. Oh, Clive's getting some subs. Hi, Alan. My new layout is now working, mate. Oh, great. Well done, Clive. This train is slowing down the procedure, but uh, I prefer to have trains running if I can. <clears throat> Maybe the ruler would help here. Well, then. And that's two out of one, two, three. About 25, 20, 25, 26 cross numbers. I'm happy to get out of the way. Uh, yeah, you can see my first platform here. Um, rather quite narrow, but you've only got the space you've been given, eh? Mm. Now, what's everybody saying? Oh, thank you very Been watching Barry Davis. He's put some of his stuff back up into his channel. Yes, I noticed. 
I notice everybody shot him down in flames. I, I quite like Barry. I like the way he runs his trains. His, everything is running all the time. So that's what I like doing is running trains. That's why not much gets done. I come up here and I end up playing bloody trains. There you go. That's what the hobby's all about, eh? I don't whistle now. I've been listening to some lovely music today and it's gone inside my brain, which it's meant to do, of course. Madon Steam Trains is here. Hello, Madon. Who else we got? Madon Steam Trains. Yes, good afternoon, Madon. I no, hope you don't mind me shortening it to Madon. Welcome aboard. Got Bernie's Black Five still having a trundle around with the freight. I can't deal with more than one locomotive like this. I need my cutting mat, re mat, really. I might have to go down and get a cutting mat. So I'm cutting these square, uh, right angles by by pi, and um, I don't think that's close enough, really. As an ex-engineer, I like things nice and square, huh? Fairly square, but oh, cutting that needed. All right, what's everybody saying? Which station is the one you're working on? I'm working on platform two and three, which is 1800 mil long, and it doesn't have a name yet. It should be Dover Down, I think. Dover Down. <clears throat> so platform two and three. And number five and six will be in, in this gap. So we'll have um, three, three platforms serving one, two, three, four, five rails. And a bi-directional passing loop in the middle. I wish I had more um, passing loops, but again, it's all about space, isn't it? There we go. Moving on. Um. That sounds good, Clive. I was quite at all. Set in the 1980s. Yeah, I'm going to have to come over and have a look at that.
Okay, I'm not happy with, with the squareness. They're square-ish, but I'm going to go and get my cutting mat. I've got to go and get it because uh, I like things to be quite precise. Um, it makes construction a lot easier as well. Right. Back in two seconds, got to go and get my cutting mat. Yeah, Ivan Kessel, hit the... No, hi to everyone who's online. Love your work, Alan. Oh, thanks, sir, Ivan. And I will try and make it this Wednesday. Be back in a minute, I've got to get my cutting mat. <coughs> Went all the way downstairs, and where is it? Behind me. Plonker. You plonker, Rodney. Nice pet. <laughs> There's somebody new. Um, model m model railroad uh, fifty six. Oh, good. So we've got me doing a scratch built platform. We've got Mark a Hemel down. He's doing a scratch built um platform. We're both using different models to each other. Hello, Captain Static. How are you? Set marks in the house. Right, back to it. Yeah, I don't want that piece of car. Right, let's see. Nice. Square up pins going now. I will be doing a video on this. In fact, I should be taking some video while I'm doing it. I will be forced to stop at one point because the glue takes about, I don't know, 
a good 12 hours to actually set so these would be um easy to knock over Outcome. It's a fine tolerance between the um, the carriages and the edge of this um, platform edge is very, very close, about two mil. So I'm carrying on on the same um, same strategy with this. I, I don't like to see a big gap between the um, carriage and the um, and the platform edge. There's a kink in this railway. Because I don't like things great, you'll find that about here there's a very slight kink in the in the rail. So the platform will also take this shape. All the all the platforms will have a little kink in it, just to make it interesting. What have we done? Do you work and run locomotives at the same time? Clive has to go by the looks of it. Okay, Clive, take it easy. Bye, guys. It's Hemel going as well. I think that's about the same sort of that I've got here. Here's my little gauge for um, gauging the track to where the cross members should be. So uh, that's what I'm working with. What we say? Yeah. Are you doing?
are you going? Going where? Sorry, I've got my eyes on the uh, I think you guys are off to the Bluebell Railway soon, aren't you? This is the slow part, is getting these all in the right places. The sides go on quite quicker because they're, um, they're like four or five hundred mil long, so they, they, they station grows quite fast um, when I get them to this bit, but setting these in the right places, the important part. Come on, black pie. Mm. It's doing better actually, and the more I run it, the better it's getting. Um, I'm sure Bernie would be pleased about that. Because when it came, um, the, um, the backs of the cylinders look like they come unglued, and then all the valve gear literally chewed itself up. So uh, it took me a long while to straighten it all up and get it back together. Maybe it's had a, got a few tight spots, I don't know. But she's definitely getting smoother. Well, let's just have a look, see what people are saying. I wish I had a layout electrician. I can't find where to put the controller on. Wilmington on sea. Ah, <laughs> very good. Tom, 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 Tom. Tom Tative. Hello. Oh, Wamgok's here. Hello, Wamgok. Can't believe there's 19 people in. Yeah, we are off to Bluebell Railway Branch Line weekend next month, okay? Yeah, hi, Wamgok. <laughs> I can only have one train running today because um, this is the uh, this is the up line, and the other two lines down here I'm actually, you know, resting on and working from. <clears throat> I'm well chuffed that Ivan Kettle joined as a member. He's a lovely lad, is our Ivan. And he's the chairman of Warmer Model Railway Club. Which I was going to become a member, I'm still not sure. I don't do clubs very well. I'm a bit of an individual. Let's see.
Right, oh, that's two strips done already. Don't get through this stuff quickly. Um, while we're waiting for the black price, we'll look, see what's going on. Good to see you are, good to see you're here too. Um, Yeah, looking good, eh? Mm. Can I do this before the um, Black Five comes back? Maybe. While well, I'm making this video, I'm also live online, first time in the afternoon. And I've got, I think, 19 people come to join me. This is excellent. Jumping, showering, and then. The sun's come out because it's getting warm up in this loft at the moment. Oh, glad to see a bit of warmer weather. Oh. Oh. Evening Star was made at Swindon work and was used as passenger local around the country. And freight, wasn't it? Uh, After having sleet all day, yeah, there was a hailstorm here this morning. It was all over and done in about five minutes. It's a typical April for sure. Right, where's that black five? I can't do this until he's gone by. Come on, black five. He's running slower than I thought. But she's doing a good job of it. And she is getting better. There she goes. All right. Mm.
Oops. <clears throat> We're getting there. To that. Right, that's everybody saying. Evening Star, I've read that. Sounds just all right, okay. What is the time? At five o'clock, isn't it? It's the time. 17.25. Right, come on, you out the way. Same again. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm slowly getting further away. Maybe you can hear me still. <clears throat> yeah, I'm definitely getting further away now. What's everybody saying? You might like to know that what trains I would be running on Warmington. The answer is that I mainly run the southern steams with DCC sound chips, but the majority are DC. Okay. I was born DC and I think I'm going to stay that way because. Well, I go with what I know, so I stay DC because I can't afford. I've got so many locomotives, I just couldn't couldn't afford to chip them all. And seeing Charlie with all his electronic boards on the knees, I think no, it's not for me.
Gracias. I mainly model Southern Railway steam on my layout as well. Yeah, we're the Southern boys, that's why. We're getting there. Not <clears throat> Quick, quick, quick. You nearly got me. You nearly got me. You're not quiet. Anything else being said? I might be running something else on this. I also have Great Western motion with factory fitted DCC sound chip and Fast 101, multiple units. All oh, right, lucky you. Ah. So I've got some wires there that go under this. I should be able to do that. 
some wires to go underneath. Maybe I'm going to leave that N one because that's where the ramps are going to be. So I'll leave that so I know where the ramps are going to be. Right, what we're saying out there, each to our own. What's that? Sunny in, some reset at the moment, wet and windy earlier. Yeah, same as here. And southern. Steve on my layout as well. Charlie's doing a great job on his layout. I've noticed that there's a notification for Charlie. Cool. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I'll be watching Charlie's video a bit later. Charlie McGowan, I think we're talking about. Is that right? I think um, I think this this um, black five is enjoying this running. It's getting smoother. I think it had tight spots where I put the valve here right or as near as I could get it. It seems to be getting getting smoother. The tight spot seems to be disappearing. There we go. <clears throat> Can't believe it. Some of these jobs, I think, well, I'll never ever get it done, but voila. And as Mark Hemeldown was doing his, I thought, yeah, why don't I do the same and get another big job out of the way? It's going to look great, isn't it, with two railway platforms? I should really continue and do this one, but it's fine. You've got a little bit of a waddle, though, haven't you? He's a bit of a waddle up, but never mind. What's being said? Um, I also have a Great Western rail motor. We oh, yeah, have read that one. Might be running something else on the new layout extension, though. Tom Houston. Hey, hey. hello, Tom. Hi all, it's stopped snowing here. Well, that's Northern Ireland. Hello, Tom. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure if I've done that email for you. I'll look tonight.
Did I, did I send you a PayPal or not? I can't remember. The old brain's getting a bit mm, on the forgetful side. <laughs> One, two, uh, two more to go. That's the other one I can't do because it's got the ramps on it. So this is the last one for these. It's cool. So that's the cross members done. Well, hey, now then, let me get these be set. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I remember now. Well, thanks, Tom. Anyway, that's brilliant, mate. Uh, I should, shall do a video on your bits and bobs when I come to paint them and uh, make them into complete trains. So that's all the cross members. Now then, dare I start putting the intermediates in now? Should we try? Yeah, why not? I've got nothing to lose, eh? <clears throat> The risk of knocking them over, that's the problem. We don't have to be too fussy about these, so I cut these by hand. There you go, the number one strengthener. There we go. Progress. Ah, will it knock it over or will it go in? Yeah, that's it. We're on our way. I can't believe I'm putting the intermediates in now. The strengtheners are going in. That be going there. Yes. <clears throat> oh, what's it saying now? Um, um, oops, gotta go pizza time. Hey, okay. bye, Tom. Hmm. <clears throat> Why not carry on then? I think this is the fifth. This is the fifth strip of cardboard so far. Soon get through it.
Wow, they stuck quicker than I thought. Look out, Mark Hemel down, I'm coming to get you. Battery low, battery saver, all batteries getting low. Are you modelling a heritage railway? Uh, um, I'm just kind of um, trying to model my childhood, really. I was born in 58. I started watching steam trains around Dover between four and, yeah, from four years onwards. So I'm just trying to bring out the 60s flavour, hence the uh, Mark I Cortina over there. I hope to have a little section over here for my heritage railway, but whether I've got the space or not, I do not know. I made so many buildings for this um, layout and I have hardly used any of them. I've got loads of, I've got two garages, I've got bloody two engine sheds, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use them. But they're fun making them anyway. Oh, yeah. All right, what's being said now? Are you modeling a heritage? No, I'm not. No. Is Tom gone, is he? Yeah, Tom's got he's away for pizza, that was it, yeah. Yeah, Tom. Tom sent me a lovely box of goodies all the way from Northern Ireland, so I'll make a video on that. My car transporter trains have grown. Ah. I've got eight. So I think 14 car transporters now, so uh, Make a nice rake, isn't it? Or two rakes, probably. Too short. Okay. Oh, I might try and get some, cut some more board the way this is going. I'm really getting through it. Anything else been said? Uh, the question was actually about Stanover. Oh, okay, sorry. So I turn my ah, oh, just turn my brightness up a bit. That's helped. <clears throat> Thank 
It's strange working and doing a live, but um, wow, the screen's way over there. Oh, see, right, okay, yeah. Wow, progress. Unbelievable. Yeah, what have we got here? Um, Lindry Town New Double O Gauge Model Railway. Hello, everyone. Now, Lindry, let me have a look. I haven't got the name today. Oh, now my telephone's going. Who's that? No, I'm not there. It would have been that important, they've disappeared already. Now then, where's my list? Hang on a minute. I'm sure. Lin Tree. Lin Tree. No, no Lin Tree on my list. Sorry, so I can't call you your personal name because I don't know it, Lin Tree. Got to go now, guys. See you later. Thanks. Thank you very much yourself. What kind of can't believe how much I've got done in such a short time. She's good to go. And that's another one done. Oh, I'm running out of cardboard as well. Right, this is a warning that my battery is saying it's going to give up soon. So if I go off air, you know why. Charlie, Charlie.
Let's try it again. Yeah, my um, laptop's not plugged in and the battery light is flashing. So I'll say cheers everybody for coming along because I think you might it might drop out in a little while. But uh, and the charger is downstairs, so uh, we we'll go with it as far as we can go. And when it goes bang, that's that. Sorry to say. Charlie, who's in Charlie? Charlie Hit? Who's Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, it will go bang in a minute, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, thanks for coming along, guys. It's my first time I've done an afternoon um, ad lib live. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll do it again if I'm up here. Thanks for a bit of railway chat. Your battery is running low. Oh no. What are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? We're going to take it to the limit. I can't believe I've done all this in such a short time. Mm. Oh no, I just flattened a bit of wall. Yeah. I don't know how much longer this is going to last. I'm turning my screen light down a bit just to try and save some power. My video from the Video from the oh, it's Charlie McGowan. Hello, Charlie. Sorry, Mark, I didn't see you in. I'm quite surprised my computer's still going, it's been moaning about the battery for ages. We'll stretch it as far as it can. One more to do. Last one up that end. Hurrah. I am going to run. I'm going to have to go and cut some more card. I've only got. Yeah, I haven't got any left. What's that? Well, that's the right length, so you can go in. I got a request for Charlie's video. It's one for tonight, one for this evening. I'll have a beer while watching Charlie's. Uh, latest video
Right, have I got any cards left? No. Oh, have I? 